Michael Van Gerwen knows that Peter Wright is playing probably the darts of his life right now. So, he'll be switched on, as will Peter. I think it's going to be a cracking final. Close, I believe. Yeah, the shake hands. Let battle commence. John hey, Pard, Rod stood in commentary. Thanks, Dave. Yes. Well, it all comes down to this. Been on the road since early February, starting in the northeast of Newcastle and finishing now in the southeast in the Docklands of London. Can Michael Van Gerwen retain his Premier League crown or will Peter Snake bite right? Put his name on the roll of honour for the very first time. It was interesting, John, Phil Taylor saying that Peter Wright was a bit down after that match over the power. It, it is difficult, isn't it, to take yourself down from that enormous high and come out on another high, but he's done it just there. How difficult is it, John? I think he might have been down a little because he, he enjoys the audience's support on a lot of occasions and uh, a little interaction of a negative nature he got into there and he didn't let it distract him entirely but uh, it probably emotionally was draining for him. He has to regroup and he's sure to get plenty of support here against the number one Michael Van Gerwen because everyone likes an underdog and that's clearly what Peter is in this match but he's not a huge underdog. Get the second dart pitched perfectly. That's the first one, but he does leave tops. Yeah, that's a really good leave. One on red and one. Tops. He'll afford to miss even at this early stage. He hasn't missed. 15 data, Peter State back right. Something of a quirk in the rules because, as we discussed earlier, in the semi finals, the higher ranked player in league positions throws first. But in the final, it's a more conventional bull off, which Wright won, and so throw first. MBG might scratch his head a little bit at that. Well, at least he, he probably thinks he's good enough to overcome it, so it won't, it won't be weighing on his mind that much. It might Unless do it, if gets, it gets to 10 all, John. Yeah, if it gets to 10 all, he might be thinking, hmm. <laughs> but even then, the player he is, he'll be thinking more about having a 10 or 11 dart leg at that point in time. If it were ever to arise, it's possible. A right average. Around about 100 against Phil Taylor in his semi-final win, which went to a last leg shootout. Van Gerwen averaging 102 in a 10-7 success over Gary Anderson. Van Gerwen competing in a fifth straight final. Every time he's been to the Premier League finals, he's won the semi. But by no means every time has he won the One final. Round. Two losses. There's one. Pitches it a bit high in the second, it leaves double. Still, it's a good chance for Peter Wright. To get a break of throw and move ahead 2 0. Couple of options, it could be 19s or bulls. 50, so 45. The 13 for double, 16. That's his favorite down there. 63. That would require 36. Double 18 to level up the match early on. My, my, Michael. Oh, this is exactly the opening Peter Wright wanted. Get into an early lead. Get the world champion under pressure. Remember, he whitewashed him in Germany in the European Tour a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weekends ago. Just a little rust there, and you can get rusty in an hour waiting around to play again. To get that full concentration and focus back. Wow, you don't miss doubles when you have that. Well, this 13th Premier League season, the winner will trouser £250,000. If it's Michael Van Gerwen, it'll be 275 because he's already picked up 25000 for topping the league. Interesting to note, John, way back in the 2005 Premier League, which you and Wayne remember well. First prize was a it was a mere 50,000, and the total prize money 140. Seven of you in it. Starting, 
Stoke who went all around England then, Widnes and Blackburn and Carlisle. It's changed a lot, hasn't it? It has. All for the better. It was a good thing then. Now it's an amazing event. Yes. It was a big event then. Now it's mammoth. And Wright looking to spring an upset in the biggest match of all in the Premier League. Remember, he had Michael Van Gerwen on the canvas when they met. He was 5-1 up. Ended up level at six each. Well, not looking very happy at all. Trouble 10. The double 16 for 3 0. Peter Wright marches on. was in Liverpool, the previous meeting, their first of the year, that was in Nottingham, Van Gerwen won that one. That Van Gerwen's first Nine. maximum of the match is 63rd of the event. Dave Chisdall is not here, has had 71. One run out 39. He'll still finish top of that statistical pile, I think, in all likelihood, Chizzy. Yeah, and he really rallied to have a fantastic campaign, even though he didn't make it here. He, he really displayed uh, top darts for most of the duration uh, after Judgment Night. Indeed. Well worth a mention, Dave just Dave Dave. Well, That will now leave him a finish. Unless that had bounced out, which it threatened to do. But yeah, it rattled around a bit, but uh, stuck in the end. Well, it takes some confidence at nil three down to spurn a chance at bull when your opponent is on 170. Well, he, whatever he had in mind, it seemed to have worked. Still has to convert, however. He does. Welcome back to the O2 in London for the final of the Premier League. World number one, Michael Van Gerwen against Peter Wright. It's Wright who has had the better of the opening exchanges. He leads 3-1 and has the darts at the start of the fifth leg. We're in for another nail-biter. I think we have the right 3-1 score for it to develop into a nail-biter. I think Michael being up 3-1, you get the sense that maybe he's going to start to run away. Much harder to run away from MVG. Last year's final, Van Gerwen routed Taylor 11-3. The closest we've had was the 2013 denouement, when the same two players met here, and MVG won 10-8 with that magnificent 132 out shot to win. Incredible match. 85. Peter wants 101. Oh, and his snakey going to rattle Van Gerwen again. 85. No. Pitcher perfect up to that last start. 
That's the one he should have liked the best. Michael, maybe a couple of doubles. Not going to happen. 68. Everyone loves that two double Thank shot now from 92. 16. Or 96. If they get a single to first start. There's the first start in a double. Peter Makes life all the more agreeable for Peter Wright. 4-1. John, can we say that Michael Van Gerwen is in a spot of bother? If Peter gets two trebles on this turn or more, because this is against throw attacking, and Michael's uh, only had two trebles in well, six well, darts. Well, now he's got a bit of a spot of father. 99. Inside the leg and inside the match. Yeah. This for a double break, and remember with Wright having the darts in odd numbers legs, Van Gerwen would have to break three times in One. order to win the match. Oh, and a painful third dart treble if you're Michael Van Gerwen. Now it knows that Peter Wright has a fairly One decent chance to get that break. You require 121. Got the treble, so double 14 now. Mike would require 86. And he needs to be clinical here, like he was at the end of the semi. 54. And a 74 and an 88 out where he took them each in two darts, treble double. This time he gets the treble, but this is two darts for double. That's right, tw double 14. For 5-1, it's double seven, so nothing guaranteed. No guarantee, but the result just the same, and it's the same as five of the other six legs, or four of the other five legs. It's 5-1 to Peter Snakebite right. Michael Van Gerwen is now in trouble in this match. a bit of a gift open though by Peter not fully clobbered by MVG by any means You're disappointed he only got a ton you won't think that's proper punishment of a 49 score what I'm right on, folks. Gerwin 5-1 down as he was in Liverpool against Wright, this time with more wriggle room because then there were only 12 legs maximum to be played. Tonight there are 21 if he needs them all. So has more breathing space. Nevertheless, giving a player of Peter Wright's calibre this kind of start is not the recommended route to success. Start of this match, sponsors made Van Gerwen one to four, and Peter Wright was a three to one underdog. Peter Wright is now eight to thirteen favourite to take out the Premier League. Van Gerwen is a five to four outsider to rally from one five behind. Mm, that, that has some appeal, right? <laughs> I can see Michael coming back from this deficit. Well, this is going to make it harder if Snakebite hits double 16. Easy. That would have shifted the odds further in his favour. He could have had above even money, but it's double 10. Game and that option is probably day. long gone, right? With the darts in this leg. 
ball back to 5-3. He was embroiled in a semi-final against Darren Webster when he was, well, he barely even turned up. Was he 7-0 down in that semi-final to Darren Webster? And uh, eventually ran him down. Uh, he's, he's done it to Phil Taylor, Adrian Lewis. He's done it to many, where he's been well down and just somehow just doesn't drop a leg after a certain point. It goes berserk, the berserk MVG, <laughs> the most dangerous one of the lot. Yes, famously in a Players' Championship final against Phil Taylor when he really went berserk with a capital B. It was madness on the hockey. But he hasn't backed up Nine the break, has he, in any way, shape or form. Nine darts thrown here by MVG to accumulate a paltry 201. Yeah, that's poor. Poor by anybody's standards. Any pros. And that is not poor. That is perfection by anybody's standards. As rightly as 41 after nine, with his second maximum to leave Van Gerwen chasing shadows in leg eight. Right for a 6-2 lead, wants 41. And the snake bites again. To go clear by four. Have we a sensation on our hands at the 0-2? They said Peter Wright's major was devalued by the fact that Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor didn't play at the UK Open. They won't be saying that if he wins here tonight. Because this would be a title of the highest quality. It would contain a defeat of Phil Taylor in a semi-final and a victory over the undisputed world number one and world champion in final, John. That doesn't come in much tougher or much better than that, does it? It doesn't. And on the back of... He didn't win the league table but he, he certainly threatened can't diminish that and some critics said he had the, the gift 7-0 but even then he's very he was very close to uh, taking it that Nine title he made finger when worked to the very end well we have no idea what would have happened in that game against Kim Hybrex which Kim sadly couldn't play but even if Peter Wright had lost to Kim Hybrex he would have been a clear second, two points ahead of uh, Phil Taylor. Whatever you choose to argue about that whitewash win. 95. Tell you what, it could be 7-2 in a couple of turns. Well, you would hope this is his throw, that he would hold his throw, and he's going to have to make an error at this point, especially those two, 17. Well, 77, so treble 19 to leave double 10. What a man at 77! Well, this is stunning from Wright. The man who's averaged 119 in one match in this tournament and 109 in another, averaging 107 and change tonight and looking at double 10 for a 7-2 lead. You betcha. Peter Snake by right leads Michael Van Gerwen 7-2. He only needs four legs to be Premier League champion. And that's the best table to top of the lot. Pummeling. Savage darts. Oh, yeah, this would be a crippling break of throw a very good leg though from Van Gerwen here he's had four trebles and six starts so it'll be fully earned if Peter could break this one 16. let's not forget Peter Wright was very close to packing up darts all together before he reached the World Championship final where he lost to Michael Van Gerwen, but the prize money he trousered, £100,000, was enough to sustain his career. He and his wife Joe were about to turn it in. And that whole event at the Alexandra Palace has changed his life. And he might tonight be ready to become Premier League champion. It's an incredible tale of what can happen if you never give up. Odds are getting shorter and shorter for this year's World Championship, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. 
Good wow. question, John. Mark Lee requires 65. 65. Two at tops. One Inside needed. So Michael Van Gerwen stops the rock, but he is in real trouble here. Welcome back to London's O2 Arena for the final of the Premier League. And Peter Wright has surged ahead of Michael Van Gerwen, winning seven of the opening ten legs. It's the best of 21 legs, and this is now the 11th. Led 3-0 early on in the piece, and has nursed the lead along to its current point at 7-3. But of course, against Phil Taylor, he ended up getting run down by the power and had to win the last leg himself with the darts to get home 10-9 against Phil Taylor. Do you think he'll close this game down more comfortably, Wayne? Well, right now, Peter Wright is by far the better player. He's out scoring. Michael Van Gerwen. He's out finishing him. And he's comprehensively, you've got to say, out playing him. Introduce you there properly, Wayne, did I? That was the voice of the multi Premier League participant, Wayne Mark. Thank you. All right. <laughs> it has been amazing, hasn't it? It has been an eyebrow raiser. Look at the averages, Wayne. It's an amazing One. gap, really. When you consider right average 98 through the tournament and Michael 104. Yeah. Michael Almost Van exactly the opposite. It is, yeah. But Michael Van Gerwen has played 16 matches in this year's Premier League, this is 17th. He's averaged over a tonne on every single occasion, apart from right now. That is incredible. What Nine, the right can't do is think, right, don't make mistakes, keep nice and straight, and I'll see it home. Doesn't work like that, got to be aggressive. Breaks back here for MBGs. Two breaks to throw down. Unless Wright has got a roof raise. We had that 120 against Phil Taylor, which was extremely important mid match. He can't go two treble to double on that occasion. Double eight. And Michael Van Gerwen restarts this contest in every sense. Yeah, Michael missed a real important combination. Earlier in the match, it was an 86, he hit the 54. Well, I'm well, I'm it's to a 32, that was kind of reminiscent, but he got that. And then starts 140. He's won the last two legs. Oh, Snakebite trying to Easy replicate one. the achievements of Raymond van Barneveld in 2014 by beating Phil Taylor and Michael van Gerwen in successive matches on well, finals night. But it's going to get a bit more difficult because the tungsten titan awakes. That feat that I just mentioned, also accomplished in the World Championship by Gary Anderson. 2015 beating Van Gerwen and Taylor. I don't know if I'm slow on the uptake, but I've just realised that Peter Wright has either changed his points or changed his darts from that in the semi-final. Mentioned the 86 that Michael missed, now he's got it. 
sure he hasn't changed his darts from the semi-final. Just the points. I, 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 you never know with Peter Wright. Whatever, it's his fourth maximum. He leaves that count 4-3. Ben Gerwig. I think, okay, Peter, if you're going to hit 180s, I'm on your throw and then. 59. You try to break Quinn, you don't. But the trouble is, is that Michael is running out of time. Still needs four more legs, Peter Wright. 55. Well, just as he did against Phil Taylor. He's having a mid-match wobble here. He's right. Really could do with leaving 66 here. Most matches over this format will have a, an ebb and flow. There'll be ups and downs. It, it's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. The crucial thing is if your mid-match dip coincides with nothing from your opponent, it won't matter. If it coincides with a surge from Van Gerwen, it will matter. Double 16, 14, then 20. Well, he's already taken out 67 and 86 in the last two legs. Well, he was going the 48 route for 16 tops. Unfortunately for Michael, he couldn't hit a treble with his first two darts. For 8 5. Well, there was half a chance, half an opening for Michael Van Gerwen, but the door got shut. Right creeps closer to the line. It was a poor first dart for the 104. Anything around the treble could have acted as something of a marker on the treble 16, but it was too wayward. Oh, lovely. Lovely, absolutely magnificent. Delicious starts. Note how Michael Van Gerwen has hiked his average up towards 104. When we last looked, it was around about 98, wasn't it? Indeed. Michael Van Gerwen's thrown nine darts. It's 47. It's the kind of leg that he wants against throw. 47. 32. 16 left, double eight. 39. Should not matter, but it may do. That, those are the combinations that give you inner angst. You're giving your, your opponent a chance you shouldn't have had. And we know how deadly snake bite can be. 61. How can we require eight? Four then. Well, four then. Game he goes. So Van Gerwen gets it back to 6 8. Remember, at one point, at his lowest point, he trailed here 7 2. So 4 1 since then to the great Dutchman. Has he given himself too much to do? It's all right. He's nowhere near the finishing line yet. And Michael Van Gerwen knows. The rule of thumb is keep your opponent two away. And he's three away at present. Michael Van Gerwen now has the upper hand in this leg. Well, even if he gets back to eight all, Wright will have the throw, but all his insurance policies will have been cashed in. He had two insurance policies with two breaks. If it goes level, they've all gone. He's got to keep holding then. Oh, 
visit of 42. Really poor from One. MVG. But not really punished. One. 180, 42, 180. <laughs> Michael was on 47 after nine darts in the last leg. Now he's on 99 after nine darts. That is wow, scoring wow. that only you and I can dream of. Went for two double tops, but having pitched one outside, it now leaves himself a two dart combination when he comes back as opposed to a single darter. Will he come back? Will he? Snake bite, wavering. Staying for double twelve. Well, did you hear the thud of the sixty thrown properly? There was no thud outside the double twelve. We're back on throw. Well, from 7-2 down to now almost certainly eight apiece. Oh, my. He's bypassed first, second, third, fourth and fifth gears to just engage the turbo. Furious fight back from the world champion. Seven two down. In about a minute and a bit, it could be eight all. Well, has the air completely gone out of Peter Wright's balloon? Because the reality is, and this is what he's going to be trying to tell himself. If it's eight all, which it will be if Van Gerwen hits tops, it's eight all. Peter Wright has the throw. He has to tell himself that when he climbed onto stage, he would have settled for this every day of the week to play best of five, and he's got the throw against anybody. But can he get that into his head? Or has he been scarred by what he's witnessed in the last six or seven legs? Michael Van Gerwen's scoring phase in the last three legs has been absolutely amazing. From 8-5 down. Wow. He's picked up the magnetised darts and they refuse to miss. But I tell you what, you'll love that ton 40 to go off the back of the max. As you said, Wayne, this has been blockbusting stuff since the interval. Oh, Stakey comes back with his fifth maximum. Crucial visits here now. Really important couple of turns. And at the 60, 14 or treble, double 11. Wow! <laughs> Peter Wright moved within two legs of the Premier League crown. Well, in the context of this darts match and what we've just witnessed from Van Gogh and in the context of what Peter Wright is trying to achieve here, that was absolutely world-class. It was brilliant. We mused at the start of the match, John Part and I, about the quirk in the rules, because remember, player in the highest league position, higher league position, threw first in the semi-finals, that was Van Gerwen and Wright as it went. In the final, they bulled up for it. And 
John and I said, well, it won't matter unless it goes 10 all. Well, now it's looking very likely to go 10 all, and it will matter that Peter Wright won the ball. Forty-eight for twenty-four. That leaves tops. When there's no pressure on, I kind of like that setup because the twenty-five leaves ninety-seven. You can then go fifty-seven tops. One hundred and five. Double ten. In it goes, and the match level again. Three legs to play. Welcome back to the final of the Premier League, where Peter Wright's early advantage has been turned on its head by Michael van Gerwen. The Scotsman led 7-2 at one stage, but the world number one has battled back and the match is now level at 9 all. This is now the 19th leg in this best of 21 contest. Somebody's going to finish second with 9 or 10 tonight. Brilliant night starts, really has been. Kicked off with that thriller between Van Gerwen and Anderson, and then the nail-biter as Peter wow. Wright completed a darting trapeze act to get out of trouble against Phil Taylor, who had a match dart, and now this. One wow. Only. Only another ton. All credit to Peter Wright here. He withstood a barrage of tungsten against Phil Taylor. And he seems to have weathered the Van Gerwen storm here as well. There you go, bullseye. 65. And that will not worry Peter Wright. He's got half a dozen darts at 96 to put him on the brink. Yeah, it's been a real poor leg from Michael. I think he's just been overly aggressive. Double 18. Peter Wright is within a leg becoming the Premier League champ. Only five men have done it before him. Phil Taylor, James Wade, Gary Anderson, Michael Van Gerwen and Raymond Van Barneveld. It is the elitist of elite company. Up until March this year, wow. Peter Wright never won a televised event. He won the UK Open. He's now a different animal, he believes! Peter Wright's performance since Michael Van Gerwen caught him at eight apiece and then re-caught him at nine apiece has been magnificent. And he underlines that point here. <laughs> what a time to hit your sixth maximum. It's not that Michael Van Gerwen's been giving Peter Wright chances. Michael has upped his average to 104. Peter Wright has manufactured the chance to become PL champ through absolute brilliance. He's on 32 after nine darts. Finish lineitis? I don't think so. To win the biggest prize of his professional career. Understand why. It's the biggest dart he's ever thrown in his life. And it doesn't find its target. 
Will he get another one? 60. Double 18, double 18. He will get another one. Another three if he needs them. Agony. And it goes on. The ultimate agony. Six match darts. And he will have to play another leg. Oh, look at Peter Wright. Oh. He's got to pick himself up. He's got to pick himself up. He knows. Peter Wright knows that he has the darts. Is still the odds on favourite to win this leg and the championship. He's got to forget that. Easier said than done. He's still holding all the aces. Needs to hit a treble. Oh, how this game can be so cruel. Well, you would have to have a heart of stone not to feel something, but Van Gerwen is just doing his job. And that's all he can do. It's not his business to show any sympathy. He may do afterwards, but he's here to win. Well, Peter Wright isn't beat yet, but... Body language says, just before these three darts, that he's feeling beat right now. He's missed six match darts. Well, Van Gerwen has seized that reprieve and turned it now into what looks being a match-winning parade. But how different it might have been, and Peter Wright devastated. Yes, Peter Wright missed six match darts, but Van Gerwen cleaned up. And against the throw, he wants 88 points after nine darts. Under pressure, he has performed. Well, Peter Wright really should have gone for a 25 there. At least give himself the opportunity. He's not thinking straight, and we're not going to have a go at him for that. And Michael Van Gerwen wins the Premier League for the third time. But he will never be pushed closer than that. Michael Van Gerwen retains the title, but spare a thought for Peter Statebite Wright. The absolute agony of professional sport played out in front of our very eyes as six match darts were missed by the man who had the Premier League title in the palm of his hand. It looked like being all right on the night, but it went horribly wrong for Statebite. And Michael Van Gerwen, the world champion, was there to pounce for the big prize. The crowd here have been Absolutely, given an exhibition of darts, not just in this final. Phil Taylor played a massive part. He had a dart to beat Peter Wright in the semi-final. Gary Anderson was seven all with Michael Van Gerwen in the first semi-final. But the reigning champion, Michael Van Gerwen, gets the job done.